her sentiments go with her school kids. She finds pleasure in shaping and molding the life of her students. She is master of arts, MI in English literature, and has been in teaching field since 2001. She has a special bond with nature and books. For she, nature is winsome, it's divine, a goddess. She feels books are a storehouse of knowledge from which we can get plenty of treasure to cherish for a lifetime. She would like to spend hours sitting in the lap of nature, reading books and sipping cappuccino. Wow! It is indeed yum! Decorating home and capturing photos, whatever looks appealing, it's her favorite pastime. Solitude is her best friend and it is giving her solace and tranquility of mind. Besides this, writing is her passion, not only amusement. Since the lockdown time, her brain has become somewhat fertile, or to say nourished with walls in a slumber, titter tall. She said now she can get more leisure time to attend her heart relation, I am poetry. Well, really, your bio passed it as how much um, feelings and your truly sentiments. So, be welcome to our uh, interview time, dears. Dear Sima, when was poetry present in your life? Tell us. Well, truly speaking, uh, I have liked poetry since my school days. As I grew and uh, entered my bachelor's, I had got a special charm for this genre of literature to say more than the other prose pieces, like novels or short stories. Uh, and later I started writing poems at that level. And at the present time, it has become a passion for me. Thus I would say, yes, poetry has appealed to me since my um, childhood days. In your opinion, is poetry the most beauteous way to expand literature over the world? See, literature has many genres like fiction, short story, novella, drama, and epic. As I told you earlier that uh, poetry amongst all the other parts of literature has appealed to me the most. Uh, I can feel that a poet can express his, his or her feelings in a more better way and in a more subtle way than any novelist can, any dramatist can, or any uh, short story writer can. So there is a beautiful reason behind that. Poetry is most expressive. It has a rhyme scheme, meters, and regularity in that. So you know, uh, it has some aesthetic charm. So uh, a reader's interest is evoked more in poetry. It reaches to the soul and heart of a reader. Whereas uh, prose just reaches, uh, remains up to the surface level alone. So interest in poetry evokes a reader's, uh, you know, interest in literature as well. So to answer your question, in one word I would say yes, that uh, it has a universal appeal and uh, it can expand the other genres of literature as well. With poetic style, do you prefer to write? Uh, it depends, I would say. Uh, yes, it depends on uh, what kind of topic you are going to write about. I feel a poem written in a free verse or uh, written uh, with a regular rhyme scheme 
has an equal charm. The main focus should be on the expressions and that special appeal that a poet has. It should be expressive. Uh, as far as I am concerned, I would choose the free verse. Um, as my work is concerned, earlier I used to write in a regular rhyme scheme. But these days, hardly I care about. So as I told you that uh, when you are writing a poem, the main expression should be, uh, the main focus should be on the expressions and that, you know, special kind of appeal. So that's it, yes. Please, cite an ancient and a contemporary poet who inspires you the most. I love to mention John Keats, William Wordsworth, P.V. Shelley, Lord Tennyson, Walt Whitman in the ancient poets and in modern contemporary poets I would choose Ravindranath Tagore. Their works have deep influence on me. I really want to emulate them, want to write like them. Their style of writing is very unique. Reading their poems gave me a rare kind of joy, a kind of bliss and solace, you know. And I often got their examples, their poems before my students in my classes. They are my all-time favorite. With poets from platforms and social medias, do you usually follow their writings? There is a great impact of social media in my world too. I am on many platforms on Facebook. In a group we are a family. We may share our views, our ideas pertaining to literature of all genres. We discuss the things. In my DP society, Dark Poetry Society, where I am a moderator, I like everyone's work. To name a few, uh, Jen Pinks, Michael Sutton, Madhu Gangopadhyay, Chris Sasa, Carl Butler, Gavin, I love their work. And uh, I follow them all. In other platforms also, I would like to name Anura Diamond, Bakus Bilali, uh, Madhuri Kulkarni, and in uh, other platforms like Pen Wellness India, uh, My Words, uh, My Words, Reniza. So, uh, really, these uh, platforms have influenced me deeply. What do you wish for literature in 2022? Well, I don't try to get famous or to get name and popularity. But as an amateur writer, I would like to reach to the hearts of my readers. I want an honest mm -hmm. critique so that I can write, uh, you know, with new enthusiasm, with a new spirit. And uh, I would like that uh, 2022 should be an year of vitality, full of enthusiasm and creativity in a poet's soul. With a poet's soul, keeps flowing with creativity, their quills never dry, it keeps flowing, it abounds with the richness of creativity and all. And I wish the same for all the readers. I, I want to make this society a mirror so that I can uh, infuse life in my poems and uh, uh, they can uh, bring, I can bring some truthness and authenticity in my work. Uh, the same thing I would like for all the readers. Where do you looking for inspiration to write? Uh, this is quite an interesting question. Uh, you know, whenever something strikes and appeals to me the most, I write. Uh, some, sometimes, you know, what happens, some words uh, are so appealing to me. So they have a special, you know, uh, very graceful words. So I expand them in the shape of a poem. I write about that that becomes an inspirational source. And sometimes, you know, pictures becomes as a prompts. In some of my groups, um, they, they used to give some prompts, like the pictures or the, some you know, line lines or some quotations. So I write about them. It becomes an inspirational source. And you know what happens sometimes? The mood also matters. Uh, we are in a very, uh, we are in a despair. We are in, um, we are very jovial. So we write about that. So, um, many more factors are there. Uh, some other great writers work to uh, becomes like an inspirational source to us. So, they also work as the prompts. We also write to emulate like them. Uh, of course, we have their, we all have our own 
individual style of writing the manner of writing is same so i would say um, the most thing that inspires me to write is my own heart so what strikes me that appeals me i just start writing about cirs finalizing our interview moment if you don't mind could you recite a poem of yours for all of us now why not uh, the poem which i'm going to recite is from my own book poetic reveries the title is and ode to poesy so here i go my muse thou art humbly called to speak the thy grace my thoughts find solace in thy embrace come over let me deck you with my words and phrases i wish to put life in my musings and leave a trace thou art my inspiration i seek your pleasant stay i beseech you to be here to enthuse my spirits right away anxious is my soul heart is calling thou aloud do come and drizzle upon me some wisdom with gentle sound here i sit with a welcome nod having the word garland i have weaved to put on you around the windows of my heart and mind remain open wide please show my writings the doorway to people's minds and love with the new words and phrases to come back my humble call to rekindle my thoughts and infuse a sweet taste in my poems and notes thank you i wish to fill in them the hues of the new grace o thou the shifai with a gentle space time